Hi there. I've um, been wanting to do a DIY on curling hair for a while. I've had a few people ask me how I get my curls the way I do, so I thought I'd just do a little tutorial about it um, on video. So, um, first thing I do, well, I use a, um, I think this is just a one inch regular curling iron. There's a lot of the spiral ones now, and I've had people ask me if that's how I do it on my hair, and it's not, it's just a regular one. Um, this is two day old washed hair. I used um, dry shampoo, so it's just dirty hair basically. I separate it up here. And then I start with the bottom and using kind of a brush to get it nice and even. And then I'm just going to roll vertically. So, got that little there. And I take pretty small sections of your hair. So this one, the first one I went forward, this one I'll go back. And I try to roll first, kind of get that little clamp in there. And then I do a little bit more, hold it, and then I finally get the end in there. And that's how you get that nice spiral down kind of curl rather than just to go all the way down to the ends and roll it up. And so I'll do my entire bottom section of the hair like that. Some of my hair is too short to do this. So on those, I'll just kind of do a really tight under curl. So now that I have all of the bottom section done, um, I'll give it a little spray, just a little bit of one because I still want it pretty loose. And then I'm going to take down this section that I have, just grab the crown of my head here in the front part and secure that up. So that's going to be the last because you really want those to be pretty perfect. They lay on top and frame the face and they have that like perfect curl down. So I usually save that for last and kind of if these are just okay then that's alright. So do the process again. With these, I'll take smaller sections and I do that one forward and one back. Now this is longer hair, so I'll clamp it again, roll it first, go a little bit further, roll it a little bit more, and then finally get that end in there and roll it all the way on. All right, so I finished that second layer. I went ahead and took down the rest of my hair and I'm starting from the back and in little sections, you can see that one, I'm doing just spiral curls all the way until I'm working it all the way to the front. So this is a time where any of those strays that might have gotten lost in the mix to kind of touch up and grab those. So again, I roll it, don't pull it all the way through. So depending on if you have bangs or not, um, I kind of like the kind of like the down and curled back look. Um, I don't have bangs, so I try to just make mine a few curls that kind of hang over here. All right, and like I said, as I get closer to the front, my strands that I choose are smaller. Just so that it's a tighter curl, that's really what you see. You want that to hold curl really well. If your hair doesn't hold curl, mine happens to, um, really well, but if it doesn't, make sure you're using product before you blow dry your hair. And also after each curl, spray it with a little bit of hairspray. And once you're done curling your whole head, don't brush it out for a while. Leave it for about 30 minutes. Let it kind of just cool and sit. Um, and then when you do, don't brush it out with a brush, just piece it out with your fingers. And I think that'll help hold the curl in there for at least several hours. All right, so these last two here, it's just that front that's going to kind of go over. I'll separate it into two parts again. And I'm going to have both of these go forward because I want them to kind of go down over my forehead and then start the curl. So you'll see what I'm talking about. I have pretty thin hair. After having four kids, I've lost most of it in the front. Not most of it, but... It's just now really growing back after a year and a half after having my last child. So doing my hair like this makes it have the illusion that it's not so thin and that it's full and um, that I have
have a lot more hair than I really do. So this is the finished product after I've curled it all, I've sprayed it a little bit, and I've tousled it out with my fingers. So it's pretty tight curls still, but it'll fall out and smooth out throughout the day. Um, it also, I kind of would find some strays that I missed that I've touched up as well. Um, now here, this little bit here, I intentionally did that, like I said, a little bit tighter. This will smooth out and just kind of become one big curl over the next couple of hours, which I prefer that look a little bit more. So um, I'll take an after shot and post it um, under this video as well. But there you have it. This is how I do my curls, three layers, and just with a one-inch barrel curling iron and a little hairspray. All right, see you later.